EC CNC Modbus. <clears throat> How boring does that screen look? It's quite uh, quite clever, really. Can you see the number down in the right hand side? Checking up. And that's coming from the Arduino. Um, that's an eighth of a second timer running so I can check if there's a loss of communication. Okay. <clears throat> Start off here. That's the uh, breakout board I showed yesterday. These are um, the smallest pins I could find to actually go into that breakout board because the the uh, receptacles are tiny on there. And what I've got here, um, the green ones, that's my inputs. So I've got, I believe it's 19 set up there, and I've got 19 outputs across the top. Uh, my finger was in the way. 19 outputs across the top. The chalk block here is where I cut a cable too short because I'm a silly sod. At the moment it's just running off USB. So there's USB input. There's no other power input feed to the board. Anyway, here's my control panel. And as you can see I've got buttons and some of them got lights on, which is quite pretty. Okay, <clears throat> if you look at the top row, I'm going to press button one and it changes to a zero. Okay, I know you see that. Top left hand corner, change into a zero. Button two, change to a zero. Button three, button four, uh, go to button nine, which is over there somewhere, it changes to a zero. Button 16, 15, 14, 13, and then my highest numbers all changing. As you can see, them changing zero to one. On the top, oh, no, sorry, one to zero. Okay, um, if you look down to the left, you'll see two numbers or one number there raising up to a maximum of 1023, so 0 to 123. They're my analog pots, so as I turn those up, which would be my spindle speed and uh, feed speed. Uh, that's reading the analogs through the Arduino. Then I've got output, um, which I can set on the screen. And like I said, I use the same numbers um, across to just make it easier. Uh, if you look, just for example, um, bottom left, I'm going to change that to a zero on the screen, and the light goes out. If I change it back to a one, the light comes back on. one next to it okay so I've got all my um, outputs coming on and off uh, just for instance I will change the feed hold over here to an off if I change it to back on again it should come straight back on so <clears throat> basically from um, UCNC Modbus um, if you look at the debug view, I've got it running four different channels, uh, inputs, out, sorry, five, inputs, outputs, and login, and a timer read. I've also got um, an error um, fault list comes up if I need it, so if it misses um, packets or anything, it'll tell me, um, which I can check in UCNC. I've had this actually running for about a year. Um, on the Arduino. Um, yeah, so the Arduino has been plugged in for you running this sketch. I've changed the sketch around a bit today just to configure where I've got the inputs and outputs and the analog. So I've just changed that around today. Excuse the mess in the background. This is my automation room. Everything's everywhere. There's motors and God knows what all over the floor. This is where I do my development work. Anyway, I'm stoked with that. It's all working and ready to. Uh, integrate into the machine. That panel's going in tonight. I'd like to start writing my <coughs> macros um, to control the machine from the panel. Now it's all interfaced in and out of UCNC. I'm pretty happy. Hope you like it. Ta-da.